Hello guys and welcome to Piano Stop. Hope you are in the process of choosing uh, your grade 1 pieces. And today I'm going to talk about the B piece, Bouncing Billy, from the grade 1. Just going to show you the book that we are on the same, uh, the, on the same page. And so I'm going to talk about, about a few things you should know before starting the piece. You should know a few challenges, you should know um, what, what, how, how you would benefit when you learn this piece. First thing I'll always talk is a key. The key signature tells you got a B flat that indicates the key of F major because simply it's of B flat and the very end ends on the F note. That's the indication. However, there are few areas, few bars that there is temporary key change. I'm gonna talk about it. So how to get into that key? Fiddle around. If you think, oh, I'm struggling to play those B flats, just take a tiny color and just mark those B flats. You know, you're gonna get, it. you better learn it properly than guess. Uh, so where is the cheek? Where is the key changer? Bar nine and ten actually goes kind of from F major to G minor. That's F sharp indicates G minor and B flat indicates G minor. Not very sort of related keys, but interesting change. Then uh, you have a beautiful key change, a very sort of remote key change from the, let's say, bar 20. I'm gonna go, we are in F major. Suddenly, we've got so many flats. We are in D flat major. Actually, in the grade one, you don't even sort of need to know that kind of key, but it does exist. And it's beautiful, lots of flats, a beautiful key. Then there's another thing you should know. It's bar 28 and ongoing. Uh, it's chromatic scale when you play. It's in other way, and in other words, semitone scale. Beautiful, beautiful build up towards the end actually. So I'm gonna play it for you. G. Such a cool pattern. Okay, now. Uh, before I move on to the rhythms, I would like to actually emphasize, just try to hear uh, the character of this piece. I'm just going to do put a metronome. It tells 60 dotted minutes uh, in per minute. So that means you would feel one beat per bar, okay? It will give you a good flow. However, it might confuse you at first because it starts on that beat. So this is the beat, just one beat per bar. However, there are three crotchet beats in a bar. What I, I suggested to do is subdivide for now. That's a character. That's a speed. Not too fast. Challenges you might face. The challenges is that the melody actually shifts in between the hands. You need to know where is the tune. You know, starts in the right, goes to the left, go back to the right, goes back to the left. So you need to highlight that tune or listen, listen a lot. So that's the tune, okay? And then there's another note in between. You shouldn't press too hard. You shouldn't highlight that much. Then let's talk about articulation. Another challenge might be that you would need, not even a challenge, actually, it's kind of fun when you master it. It's the quick sudden change between articulations. You play legato and then staccato, like a laugh. Again, legato. How cool is that, yeah? Okay, so um, talking more about the character is kind of fun, playful, tune. Um, it's like a game, imitation of game, catch me if you can, very cheeky one though. Uh, as, I, as I mentioned before, your challenges eventually become fun when you can master the tune in between the hands, when you can master articulations, those quick shifts between articulations. It will be so much fun to play. Also, the key changes will give you a nice, a nice uh, feel. Rhythm-wise, again, the pattern is repeat, repetitive, yeah? It's like... Yeah. 
and it's ongoing, it's repeated, yeah? I'm gonna play it for you. So just get into that rhythm, tap it. Many times, get into that and you won't have a problem to master this piece. Uh, I must say that's a very rewarding piece. If you master it, if you get a good grade, you should be very, very proud of yourself. Good luck and enjoy learning, enjoy practicing. Do it slow, do it in little chunks. Don't try to start uh, to, to master it from the beginning to the end. Four bars a day, that could be a good achievement. Take care and see you soon.